Hey you guys, um, <clears throat> I almost just right burped like right into the camera as it started. I can't believe it. It's very unprofessional. This is kind of an offhand, totally random video that I'm adding on. Uh, I don't know if I'll, I'll upload it today or tomorrow or whatever. I had to talk about this. This was too interesting to me. This was too crazy. And I don't know how many of you have heard about this. It relates a little bit to my last video, the Logan Paul thing. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get back into Logan Paul again. I'm not gonna start talking about that again. I, I, I want to talk about Shane Dawson, a YouTuber who I, I really, I'm kind of indifferent to. I think, I think he's definitely very creative, very charismatic, and I think he makes some good videos. He's just not my style of stuff I want to watch. I try to watch mostly like creepy stuff, um, and that's that's the weird thing is I was looking for through a lot of my uh, subscriptions and creepy. Uh, channels that I watch like Scare Theater, Rainbot, and I saw this thing on Rainbot that was the, it was so weird, I had to talk about it. Um, okay, so Shane Dawson, if you didn't know, uh, a day or two ago was accused of being a pedophile. And he's not, guys, he's not. I'm just going to stop right here and be like, he's not a pedophile, it, you know. So the people or channel or podcast that accused him was a podcast that has a channel as well known as Pop Blast. And this is not a small channel. This is 700,000. So they're almost at the 1 million diamond plaque, or what is it, gold? I don't know, mark for <clears throat> how big they are. That, that's, that's a massive channel. Um, and they did all these kind of little clippets and... Uh, segments from his very, very old videos. I mean, these videos were from like 2006, 2008, which is almost like a dec that's a decade now. So it's really old. And took them completely out of context to try and make him sound like a pedophile. He also recently had one of his fans come to his house so that he could help her work on her videos. And it was actually like a genuinely really nice thing that he did. Um, but what they didn't let you know was that um, she was a young girl and they tried to make it look really bad. Well, truth of the story is, is that this young girl had her parents with her the entire time she was there over at his house. Um, so again, a totally false accusation. It, it was so weird. Like, wh well, why out of nowhere would they suddenly do this? Like, just suddenly come out with this information? Like, nobody else anywhere in the land of drama is trying to accuse Shane Dawson of doing this stuff. This dude's not a pedophile. It's my, it's my main point. And why they would choose him, like, why suddenly attack Shane Dawson out of nowhere? I mean, in general, he's, like, a pretty nice guy. He's very charismatic, like I said. He's had a clean record almost the entire time he's been on YouTube, which, and he's been here from, like, the start. He's old school. Um, and he's still growing. His channel is still a hot topic, and he's doing fine. Um, so why? why? Why would they suddenly attack him? Well, he contested everything that they said. Uh, he obviously proved his innocence quite easily, since it was completely false accusations. And then something very strange happened. First of all, first change, the video in which Pop Blast accuses Shane Dawson of being a pedophile has the title changed and Pop Blast changed it. It went from Shane Dawson is a pedophile to this is why we think Shane Dawson is a pedophile. They changed it to that first. And then they deleted the video. And then it gets creepy. Okay, I'm going to just play what they put up on the channel after they deleted that video. They also deleted all the other videos they had on there. They were all like pop related stupid videos or horrible garbage. And they, they played this and listen. Um, I forgot to mention right before I play this, uh, headphone users, just a warning. I, I feel like the static is pretty loud in this, so you may want to change over. 101, 0, 3, 2, 100, 105, 106, 106, 106, 0, 9, 7, 0, 9, 9, 116, 114, 0, 9, 7, 0, 9, 9, 116, 0, Okay, so now their channel turned into a number station? Like, what is that? <clears throat> if you don't know what a number station is, a number station is pretty much um, a broadcast that's sent either secretly or manually through, usually I think it's 
AM channels, usually not FM channels, and it's usually during wartime. It's not really used anymore. Some still exist. Some are still left over even from World War II that send secret messages in a number code. So people decoded these messages, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember the exact thing that these messages turned out to be, but pretty much they went through a couple, okay? The first message said, um, I was paid to what would you call it, defame, make a pariah of Shane Dawson by this person. And they put a name down there. I forget what the name is, but that name turned out to be the manager of Logan Paul. Now, mind you, what they showed was a screenshot of a PayPal uh, delivery of money, and the name on it was Logan Paul's manager. But you can easily, <laughs> I mean, everybody knows how to Photoshop a digital image on on a screen. I'm not gonna 100% say this was definitely Logan Paul's manager who paid to try and get the information taken away from, um, I, sh I should say the scandal taken away from Logan Paul and put on Shane Dawson. I I don't know, I mean, that's getting we're getting into conspiracy theory territory here, but the channel that's actually saying that this happened was the one that made the accusations pop blast. Then they sent out another video and it said, I really regret that I did this and I wanna give them the money back. So they're saying that they paid Logan Paul's manager back the money that they were delivered to create this scandal. Um, and then I think there was like one last message that was like, I really regret doing this. This is my apology. Goodbye. And then the channel proceeded to upload copyrighted material that would get their channel deleted. And it did. It got deleted. The channel's gone. A, a 700,000 follower channel is gone from YouTube, deleted it by itself by pretty much... <clears throat> sabotaging the own, their own channel. What the hell? And and then in the meantime, they were putting up these weird like number station recordings. It's, and then on top of it, they're saying that they were paid by Logan Paul's manager to create a new scandal to take all the hype off of Logan Paul. That is so weird. That is so weird. And I just, I had to share it. I came across it while I was doing some research for my last video. And it is just the kind of creepiest sort of, I don't know, an internet mystery that I've ever looked into, just because there's so much reality behind it. I mean, the videos really existed, the channel really existed, this accusation really existed. Did it actually happen because of this? What was the purpose of all of it? If it wasn't actually Logan Paul's manager, which again, I'm not saying it was, I'm saying it's very easy to plagiarize or blame him because he's kind of a scapegoat right now. Um, if, if it wasn't him, then what was the reason behind actually doing that? Why would you burn a 700k channel f just to create a fake scandal? I mean, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Guys, I want to hear your ideas in the comments below. Even if they're conspiracy theories, even if you want to blow my mind and say aliens did it, fine, tell me, tell me. I want to see how aliens came down and did it, whatever. But I just, I had to share this with you. This was just too interesting. Um, I, I hope it's not too out of the norm. It's kind of reminding me of Osiroshi Saturday, so I had a really good time doing this. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.